Hey everybody, CK here, and today I am doing a mommy makeover, and it's so fitting because Mother's Day is coming. So here's her before picture, and now I am putting a primer on her eyes. I believe I used the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, all right? So now we are going on top with the corrector. This is the Makeup Forever Corrector in the shade R50. I have a video all about their concealers and their correctors, but the reason I'm going on top of her lid with the corrector is to mute out the discoloration. As you see, she has a lot of hyperpigmentation on her face, and so we are trying to neutralize some of that before we get started. So I love to do the eyes before I complete the face because just in case I have any fallout, I do not want to touch the face up again. You feel me? So I'm using Makeup Geek's Cabin Fever on one half of her lid and then Desert Sands on the other half. We're giving her a really natural look and I told her I was going to use lashes and this is what she had to say about the lashes, y'all. What's that? Lashes. You can put some eyelashes? Yes, we can put some, uh-huh. Even though she wasn't really feeling the lash idea when I told her about it at first, once I popped them lashes on y'all, she was feeling herself, feeling herself. And now I kept trying to get her to hold her head right. Mm. <laughs> Look, hold your head down, down. <laughs> I cannot. So after all those shenanigans, all right, I am using the Makeup Forever R50 corrector all over her face in the areas that she has the hyperpigmentation. I'm using a brush, I believe this is a Sigma Precision brush, and I'm using it to place everything where I needed it. But as you will see, like about right here, <laughs> I'm using my finger because I felt like my finger warms up the product and it settles it or pushes it into the skin a little bit more. And so now I am using the Makeup Forever foundation. I will get the shade and put it in the description box. But not only did I use this foundation, I actually used the foundation palette from the palette that I got from the makeup school and I mixed a bunch of colors to get her right shade. And now I did a couple of mixtures with the Too Faced not born this way. No, yeah, it is born this way. I was gonna say better than sex. But I used two concealers, the dark and the deep, to give me the color that I needed because the deep was too orange. So now I'm just blending that out on top of her nose, doing a little bit of highlight. Not to give her a major highlight, but to bring the dimension back into her face because it was flattened by the foundation. And now I'm just setting under her eye with the Laura Mercier deep translucent powder but I will like a word to the wise let me tell y'all when you're doing mature skin you want to put a little bit of powder under their eyes next time I will use a brush and not a beauty blender but I wanted to touch up her eyes a little more so I'm just adding a little more of that eyeshadow on both sides the cabin fever and the desert sand just blending that out I didn't feel that she needed a liner because we really wanted it to look natural you know what I mean so I'm contouring. I think I used a cream contour from the palette as well. And I'm just setting everything very, very lightly. I'm not packing it in. I'm just dusting it on. And I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder that you can use on any skin tone. I really love that powder. But right here, I felt like the foundation was oxidizing a little bit. And yes, my mom is silly. Now you see where I get it from. I get it from my mama. I felt like the foundation oxidized a little bit, so I went back into that Laura Mercier powder. And the blush and the highlight and all that good stuff will be in the description box. And I used a lipstick from a lipstick palette. But I do want to tell you guys, highlight on mature skin, don't use a lot. But here's the look, guys. Like you like it? Mm -hmm. A lot. I would like to look like this all the time. Work it, mom. Work it. <laughs> what am I working it for? The camera for the video. Oh. <laughs> you feeling yourself, huh? Yeah, I, I wish I could do like uh, uh, you all and Jack. What we do? You act like you were born to do it. And when you get my age, you have to jump fine. You have to jump? Did you jump? You jump fine today? <laughs> I jumped way fine. I might be able to go out somewhere and catch. Trying to catch a 74? Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking. Kiki Beauty, confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, Kiki Beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies, you know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games, it's the Kiki Beauty. Yeah, Kiki Beauty.